Okay, this is the, the first episode of programming the Commodore 64 using Simon's Basic. It's a cartridge that was released in the 80s there that uh, gives the Commodore 64 extra graphic and disk commands. There's the manual pieces but okay so this was kind of frustrating at the beginning uh, because I didn't completely understand how the memory was allocated but I'm going to switch to uh, the screen capture of the 64 and bear with me please because I'm going to have to switch that too so at first it's going to be messed up but it will be fixed okay it's a little dark I'm gonna try to lock that up. Okay, looks decent. Uh, so, when I first started programming with this, it would just erase my program. I didn't know what was going on. And I was going by the examples in the book. And then I came across a, uh, a post on a Commodore 64 forum giving an example. A guy wrote a Frogger game in Simon's Basic. And I looked at the source code and figured out what's going on. Uh, so first, you need to use the mem command that kind of sets the memory where it needs to be. So that's that needs to be in there. Uh, second, this example will only go over high resolution sprites. So I, I am not going to cover multicolor sprites in this episode. So, in line 90, you've got the design command. The first parameter is the sprite number, and the second parameter is the memory location of where it stores the sprite information. The manual is kind of vague on the subject, well, at least to me. And, uh, so I found this to work. So that it was at 49, 152, and then lines 100 through, I think it's 300. Yeah, sets up the sprite uh, image. Remember, it needs to be 24 by 21, uh, not including the at symbol. That's just kind of indicating that this is a sprite definition. And you need to use the B character to to represent a one basically and the period is represents zeros which will be the transparent parts in the sprite and line 310 mob set okay so according to the manual uh, the first parameter is the the sprite number in this case we were using zero and the next parameter is the block of memory that the sprout definition is at this needs to be zero to correspond with the memory pointer set in the design command uh, And it needs to be in like 64 byte blocks, from what I understand. So if 
you're going to put it in anywhere beginning other than 49152, you would need to increase that by like a 64 byte block. And then in mob set, it would be like 1, 2, etc. So since we're beginning at 49152, which is kind of like the base address, we set it to 0 in mob set. The next parameter is the color. Then we have uh, priority, whether the sprite is going to be over or under screen data. And the next is uh, the last parameter is the resolution. Is it a high resolution sprite or a multicolor sprite? Zero being a high resolution sprite. And in this example, I've got joystick to control the, the sprite up, down, left, or right. And the mmob command, which is like move mob, that's the uh, movable object block. That's what Simon's basic calls a sprite. Uh, so the first parameter, mmob, is the sprite number zero in this case and then the the two sets of x and y positions is basically a beginning and an ending uh, path that you can move the sprite in and in which in this case I'm just setting it to just move the sprite there automatically and then the second to the last parameter is the expansion for the scale of the sprite. Zero being being no scaling and three scaling it horizontally and vertically. And then the last parameter is the speed of the sprite. That is if you're going to move it from point A to point B, which I'm not. I'm just moving it definitely so I'm going to run the program here show you what I got move the joystick move the sprite pretty simple uh, now if I set the scale parameter the sprite will double in size horizontally and vertically See? So, we've got sprite graphics in Simon's Basic. So that's the first example of a uh, writing some stuff in Simon's basic and I'm you know I'm not an expert I'm learning this as I do these videos because I've never written in Simon's basic before so I never had Simon's basic until uh, a few months ago when I got this cartridge off eBay so this is like the first lesson for me and you possibly I mean if you have experience with Simon's Basic leave comments please you know pointers I can use them uh, but this is the first step to developing a Sprout based game in Basic on the Commodore 64 well, let me switch shots here just the color. Okay, that's better. So, this is the first episode. There'll be... I'll have more upcoming episodes here shortly that will have a lot more stuff in it as far as the, the game is concerned. Uh, 
this was the biggest stumbling block for me learning this language was getting the memory location right because like I said before I would set up a sprite definition and it would just erase my program that's because I wasn't setting the, the memory location in the design command correctly and it was basically overriding the basic programming memory so but now that I understand what it's doing then I can proceed forth from here okay so the next episode we'll, we'll flesh up the game a little bit more maybe even finish it this is the biggest stumbling block so now that I'm past it we can move forward talk to you guys in the next episodes